with the recent Dragonflight announcement, it's always going to start garnering some attention, like if the expansion's on our doorstep. Whenever there's a pre-order and we have this timeline set before us, people start to say the words, hey, I'm thinking about coming back and trying Dragonflight. Well, if those words have come out of your mouth or you've been considering something similar, this video is for you. Because I'm going to tell you today about why if you are considering to come back, quote unquote, like you haven't been playing WoW for a while, you really do not want to make the mistake of waiting too long. I find and I have seen personally in many, many years of seeing people come and go in WoW that the most overwhelming time is going to be the start of an expansion. I do believe that a lot of people end up quitting because of this overwhelming feeling they have about the game. I have been looking and studying at stuff about brain chemistry a lot and, and it's why I take so many breaks and do so many things within my own week as well, like not even long term, that help me try to stay sustainably happy with the game moving forward forward. So the same problem can happen in reverse when you're gone for a long time and then come back to it. So my simple recommendation is if you are trying to return to Dragonflight and you genuinely are doing so hoping you will enjoy it and play it for a long period of time and not just be like oh I'm going to play it for two hours and then quit again then you need to come back early enough for your brain to build up this tolerance to the point where when the expansion and the actual excitement stuff happens you will not be overwhelmed by it and it will not create diminishing returns on you. Especially with Dragonflight, I think this is probably going to be the expansion that does it the most because there's going to be new talent trees, there's going to be this whole new travel system, which honestly I think is going to be pretty foreign for a while. But even just in the pre-patch, like I mean, I can't even imagine it. We were actually talking about it with Mage Tower, like the talent trees are going to change the game, dude. They have like multiple legendary effects in a talent tree and you're going to be able to take multiple of them. I mean, how is that not going to massively affect, affect power creep in the game? And then the question is going to be like, what do they do with the current stuff? But all we know is the probably at least month to month and a half before Dragonflight actually launches can be just as overwhelming as the actual expansion. And you know, the game doesn't do anything to halt this either. Like if you take a year off and you come back, you're gonna have like a million quests. There's gonna be all kinds of things pulling you in different directions. And I've seen this firsthand as well. People come back and they're like, I did the entire campaign. Why did I not get my second legendary? And then they're actually stuck doing like, say the Venthyr campaign. Like that, you know what I mean? The game tries to delineate it, but if you don't know what you're looking at, it doesn't really make any sense because you have like three campaigns if you missed all that and you come back and that turns you around i think that's something that could really turn you off probably not a good taste in your mouth and that's all something that you could have just avoided you know it sucks to say it but playing weekly does have its advantages because you never really get behind on stuff you never really feel like you're not in the loop when these things come so it's just important about finding that kind of middle ground there like okay just approach the game like i'm just gonna only do stuff i want that's my biggest thing too man just find the stuff that you really like about the game and just do that for now have fun find the thing that you used to love about the game in the game again that's the real truth to enjoying wow long term immerse yourself in the things you love and i don't think many people do that people who don't even play the game seriously they try to play the game super seriously all of a sudden doing things for like super minor upgrades super minor rewards you really need to learn to control that impulse blizzard's not helping but of course it's going to be up to you you're the one doing the activities and that is again not going to stop in dragonflight so when like when would I recommend coming back? Honestly, it depends on what kind of player you are. If you enjoyed Mythic Plus in the past, especially if you enjoyed Blood DK, I mean, you really can't pick a bad time. If you haven't gotten Keystone Master yet in Season 3, you know, that would be a good option. That mount is quite cool. And the Season 4 one is even cooler. It's coming out in first week of August there. So I have plenty of time, August till at least November. And, you know, honestly, I think if you come back and you do some of the activities in Season 4 and maybe see some of the raids, maybe you didn't do all the raids as well you might learn something about your habits and you might understand a little bit more about what leads you to enjoy or not enjoy a video game long term because at the end of the day i feel like you have to be striving for that that's probably my most noticed thing about the community and the game nowadays is people are not actively striving to enjoy something anymore and it's not even just wow trust me this is literally everything on the internet right now really everything off the internet too i think for a lot of people people are like just not really seeking happiness in their life anymore i feel like people are looking to find like the most negative take they possibly can it's almost like it feels like they're like trying to find like a badge of honor saying like hey look how much i hate this thing it's like okay well great maybe there's a reason to hate something but this is a video game and you're paying them monthly you would hope that you can at least find some enjoyment in it like you would hope that you're actively seeking it more so because i really don't think many people are i think a lot of people just like log on to wow or another game and they're just like well 
you better entertain me. Yeah, I'm going to give you a couple hours and that's all you're getting, you know? It's like, they're not really like, oh man, let's see what I can find today, you know? They're not really looking for it. They're just kind of demanding that they get it and that somebody give it to them. It just seems really unhealthy. It seems really unbalanced, imbalanced for sure, because a lot of things in life are subtle. You know, a lot of enjoyment can be lost if you're just not looking in the right place. If you're looking at it from a perspective that will allow you to see the nice things, then you'll just be happier. You'll just enjoy things more. So you can learn that lesson from wow too. I mean, I've learned so many lessons from WoW, just how many years I've been playing. It's basically taught me so much just about perspective and about life. And it's no different about expansions as well. You know, we come into these expansions and we have expectations. And I think this is another really important thing. If you're coming back after a long period of time, everybody has expectations. And I think especially if you're really not following the development of an expansion, it's easy to have these ridiculous, unrealistic expectations. And you know, there's nobody's fault. You know, people want what they want, but Blizzard lays these things out pretty well. Well, and soon to come there'll be an alpha and you know there's gonna be lots of patches on that alpha lots of hot fixes lots of things changing over the next six months and if you don't keep up with all of it and then you come in and be like i'm disappointed with this it's a hard thing to solve right because all that info is out there that's why they do it that's why they test it they want to give everybody ample time to get ready it's not just for testing purposes it's also for us the player at least that's the way i look at it not just for them it's also for us to get primed and ready and get some experience with the expansion before that launch date so that's what you want to use this time for you want to try to stay ahead of that you want to search out those like emotions talk about like what didn't work out for you in the past i always say that like trace your roots with the game find what the core kind of directive with you in the game are do you like mythic plus do you like a certain class and it didn't deliver in some way is it that easy you know will the game be different in dragonflight you never know but i think if you're like hanging your hat on a single thing and you're setting these expectations really high like oh the talent tree is gonna change the game it's gonna be completely completely different game I can't wait and I'm here to tell you that's just not going to be true I'm extremely excited about the talent system I literally cannot wait for it. it's my most hyped feature ever for sure but it's still going to be World of Warcraft like I mean what I'm going to have a few more spells maybe a few different spells I'm still going to have to you know press death strike use vamp blood use my normal gameplay loop that I've been using for the entire time now not really going to change so like that's that's the thing that kind of always bothers me is like there's a bunch of people who I've been talking to recently in a different type of community that like they say things like I tried Shadowland when it launched and I, I didn't even get to level 51 that's like an actual comment somebody made now, honestly if you say that I guess it's got to be a lie right like getting from 50 to 51 on launch night what would that take like less than an hour I don't really even understand that but I think that's like a prime example of somebody who's just not trying to enjoy the game because honestly if you can't be somewhat excited for an expansion then very abnormal I feel like like for me every time there's an announcement of anything in wow I get excited but there's some people who are the complete opposite like literally they can announce something major tomorrow and people will start complaining about it before it's even out and those things are like really detrimental to your life they're really detrimental to your health as well i think but yeah try to if you're interested in coming back and you want it to be a successful journey this time around trace your origins with the game find what it is that you really love about the game and find also what it is that you really dislike about the game and try to avoid what you dislike at all costs that's the biggest thing is just having that healthy balance with the game and if you come to realize like what i hate about the game is everything well you got some soul searching to do but the most important part about coming back a little bit early as well is that you'll have like a baseline layer of understanding with what you're playing and how you're playing it so then when the patch comes out it will be new like it will have changed right you don't want to come back after that because then you'll you'll be like one step behind everyone else right like you'll be overwhelmed by all the new talent system and you know everything that's changing in the pre-patch but everybody who played before they're like well this is how it was before and this is how it is now and when you have that comparison you you know you understand things better but when you don't have that comparison you're like wait i didn't even know how it was before how am i going to know how it is now you know what i'm saying like that's really important to i feel like understanding your class and your spec it's that historical baseline is really important so i don't know i hope this has helped because i feel like i've had a lot of experience a lot of people come and go i don't know to me man wow is a long-term game and i'm talking about years so it's different i have a different perspective of course but i hope this helped might be a weird video but i'm hoping you guys can have a discussion about this as well i really think think it's incumbent on us to seek out enjoyment in 2022 man life has been so weird these last two or three years video games should be an escape for that it should not make you very unhappy it should not be rolling up negative emotions constantly if you're constantly upset with the game and then you try to come back to it and you're just upset with it again and you're making more and more rash decisions on the negative side it's just really bad man i would, don't do that i'm just trying to help you guys with that and i hope that dragonflight will be a good place for it because it does feel like the start of a new wow era i we 
always say that the wow errors come in threes. We just did Legion, BFA, and Shadowlands, so we're on to the next journey, and I hope you guys will be there for it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.